This is set uh, all weekend, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull the clamp off of it. All right, just for grins, I decided to show you the uh, the clamp assembly. Here's that plate, and notice that on this plastic, that's one of the reasons you want to use plastic here, kind of a thick plastic, because it will actually boss itself uh, with the uh, foam and uh, actually take the form. Where if you had used just foam in this. Uh, this foam would have probably been stuck to it if any glue had leaked out and then it would be a real mess to clean up where the plastic just makes it very easy to just you just pull it straight off now that uh, we've got it unclamped I'm going to take some alcohol and I'm going to start at the middle of this and I'm going to wipe out and the reason I'm starting at the middle is because remember I haven't soldered down the end yet and I don't want to snag it with the uh, cloth and peel it up so just be real careful with it now I'm going to put just a little tiny bit of flux on here and smoosh it all around. And then I'm going to tin this whole top right here. And then I'm going to wipe out towards the ends and make sure that these stay down. Let me uh, get a little bit of flux on here. I'll use uh, just my blade to kind of push it around a little bit. Get it a little bit everywhere on here. Don't worry about the holes. We need to solder around these two. And if solder gets in the holes, then we'll just uh, we'll remove it. Take our soldering iron and our solder if we can find it there it is and we're going to uh, put a little bit of solder on here and we're just going to flow it there you go it's going to flow it around it's basically retinning it and you can put a coating over this if you want uh, I think Chemtronics sells uh, a coating that you can use. And then I usually use my wick and I remove any excess. Get this up here. All right, well, let's put a little bead around here. Okay, I got me a nice little bead all the way around. So I'm gonna get some alcohol here and clean it up. Oh, looks like I got a little bit of copper right there I missed. Sometimes these can be a real booger to patch up. And this one is proving to be one. <laughs> Not the prettiest patch, but I'm going to take it. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is uh, start putting the components in here. I'll probably retin this board over here, or this pad right here a little bit. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, install this uh, tantalum. And when you install tantalums, the dash on a tantalum is positive. On an electrolytic, the dash is a negative. There we go. All right, I got some flux on it. Now I'm just going to uh, solder it in. All right, let's turn it over and get the back side here. I think that'll work. Let me get it cleaned up with a little bit of alcohol. Those ground planes, uh, they don't like to solder very well unless you got a lot of heat. And we'll clean this side up and give a good look at it. All right, now I'm gonna test fit the, uh, the new battery. And uh, it goes in, but this capacitor right here keeps it from going all the way down. So it looks like I'm gonna have to put it in a little slightly raised now if you have uh, one of these capacitors longer leads you could probably uh, bend it over a little bit or put Z bends in it with some uh, insulating uh, heat shrink on on the lead so they don't short so it looks like <laughs> it looks like this is just not quite a perfect fit uh, but that's all right we'll, we'll get it up and we'll set it up about right here and it should fit in the computer all right so let me get this soldered in. All right, I've got all three soldered up there. And, uh... All right, there we are, she's installed. So all I have to do now is uh, get some epoxy and uh, put it over that area that where I put that, that, pack, that copper patch right there.
this should definitely allow this board to, to work for many many more years and uh, hopefully my friend really enjoys it so uh, go see his little website it's called simple things and uh, he's going to put some videos up of him uh, using this board inside the Amiga 500 and doing some sound bites and things from what I understand and running some of the programs that this isn't so much a uh, a tutorial on the Amiga 500 uh, board here as it is how to do board repair but uh, it just happened to be on the Amiga 500 so anyways give me a thumbs up if you learned something I always accept uh, suggestions criticism better ways to do things uh, share your knowledge put things down in the comment please y'all have a good one and talk with you later bye